Hey Hoyan, have you ever heard of what the metaverse is? No, mind explaining it to me? I'm not exactly sure about it either. I wish we could travel into the metaverse and experience it ourselves. Ah. Ooh. Ooh. What is this? <laughs> it's a VR headset. Ooh, I wonder what it does. Let's put them on. Sure. Whoa, this is cool. It feels as if I suddenly have the knowledge to the metaverse. I feel so informed about the metaverse now. What do you know so far? Well, basically, I know that the metaverse is a graphically rich virtual space with some degree of verisimilitude where people can work, play, shop, socialize, in short, do the things humans like to do together in real life on the internet using avatar form. Oh my gosh, have you ever heard of the movie Free Guy? It's one of the best movies that portray what the metaverse might be in the future. The main character, Guy, an NPC, or what is known as a non-player character, decides to become the hero of the story and break free from the norms of programming. And the best part? Guy is played by Ryan Reynolds! Okay, okay, you can stop your fangirling now. Well, I was about to say, the metaverse doesn't refer to one specific type of technology, but rather, it refers to the broad change in how we interact with technology. Wow, you really know your stuff. I've been reading on social media and found out that the biggest trend of the utilization of the metaverse is gaming. In fact, new technology by Epic Games called the MetaHuman allows us to create realistic human avatars and it is a huge step towards the metaverse vision that creators have. Yeah, that's impressive. It indeed is difficult to get realism in humans. It opens up lots of opportunities where people can join together in a virtual space and look like themselves. To experience this, Metaverse Creator plan to expand using the basics of VR technology, which in short consists of a haptic vest, VR headset, headphones, a computer, motion detectors, and cameras. Wait a minute! Didn't we just put on a VR headset and suddenly get transformed into our avatar forms? That was what I was thinking! Get your tickets! The last two tickets for the Time Traveling Express! Quick, Hoyan, it's our chance to learn more about the metaverse. We should probably get in now before we miss our opportunity. Hop in. Remember, you're not allowed to come back to your present time until you've completed your journey. Well, first off, I'd like to say that the metaverse is a cyberspace that contains the future of the internet. Long, long time ago, in 1838, Sir Charles Wheatstone created binocular vision in order to manufacture the illusion of depth to create 3D figures. And in 1956, Morton Healy created the first VR machine. Then about 12 years ago, in 2010, Palmer Luckey made the prototype for the Oculus Rift VR headset. It wasn't until four years later that the multi-billionaire company Facebook, a social networking site, bought the Oculus VR in a $2 billion deal. Zuckerberg stated that, Facebook and Oculus would work together to build out the Oculus platform and develop partnerships to support more games. Then in the following five years before 2021, several new gadgets have been invented, such as Microsoft's HoloLens headsets, as well as Apple adding LiDAR to its iPhones and iPads. Oh, I remember this. And then only a year ago, Facebook changed its name to Meta. And now we reach today. Chloe, quick! We need to travel to the future before we're doomed to die. I can't change the controls. We'll just have to get through this. Gosh, there are so many people sharing their opinions about the metaverse. I honestly do not support the name change to Meta. I thought that Facebook was already a good enough name. And in fact, 45% of adults in the US completely agree with me, right? Yes, you see, the fact that they changed it to Metaverse, this shows how we're now completely disinterested in this idea of theirs. 
Not to forget th the fact that 55% of adults in the United States are worried about the misuse of personal data. The fact that the metaverse could be so broad that cyberbullying and online abuse in this virtual world could be a major concern. There's no doubt that all this would affect the mental health of some people for the worse. Honestly, it's a little hard to take in. It's like they aren't even working on it and they're trying to gather our interest in something that only sci-fi lovers would really want to pursue. At least we're okay. Look, what's that in the distance? We aim to create a virtual world, allowing people to feel present and together, expressing themselves in various ways. For now, we can access this through a purchase of a VR headset. By using stylized avatars, it allows people to experience gaming and entertainment, fitness and exercise, and even become more productive and learn new things in the online world one day. So far, we have idealized Horizon Home, which creates the perfect workspace for people to feel comfortable in. Horizon World, on the other hand, allows people from different parts of the world to jump into the metaverse together and have fun. Not to forget, we also have Horizon Workrooms to allow collaborations. The most important point of all is that Meta hopes to keep the pace of innovation and improve the current technology. Thanks, Mr. Zuckerberg. It was nice meeting you. I truly believe the metaverse could develop into something truly intricate. Only time will tell when vision becomes reality. Whoa, that was one of the most intense journeys I've ever experienced. Honestly though, I really like my avatar appearance. But now, all I long for is a good night's sleep. Yeah, I agree. The metaverse is truly a wonderful place. Um, but it definitely has room for improvement. Well, I better get going. See you later. Bye.